Yeah. Let's say good luck to each other. We're going to get started in this first game of this first match. Eiffeton closest to us with the cat head and Pro TVR with his trademark uh, Spartan helmet on the opposite yes! side of the table. Yes, baby, yes. See, guys, <laughs> celebrating that so. that first shot. Ball. I'm on a whole new level, baby. The king is back. The king is back. <laughs> seems seems very pleased Let's about go. what happened there. <laughs> Okay, obviously both players looking to, to settle in a little here at the start. There's a bit more of a rally there, but first two points go to Eiffelton. He's got the early lead. Continues to stretch that slightly long there from Pro TT. Some couple of nice forehands there. Then spreading it over to the backhand. Making Eiffelton move, yeah, and eventually forcing a mistake. Pro TT gets off the mark with his first point of this match. Ton looking pretty mobile. He's getting around the table pretty nicely, even when Pro TT stretching him out wide. Oh, that was really close to the baseline there from Pro TT. Very precise. Oh, that one just slips past him. We're looking at 4 1 to Eiffelton at the moment. Yeah, you can see the ease with which Pro TT just switches from the backhand to the forehand, can just place the ball so close to the corners and really try to force his opponent into difficult situations. But as we know, Eiffelton is able to handle this. He's done it before. Still maintaining this three point lead at the moment. Still early days. Both players settling into their rhythm. ProTT just taking a moment here before he serves. Gets a point out of that. Just a let serve there. Yeah, some very nice quick rallies here. It's a real back and forth. Eiffelton on the back foot, having to defend a bit, and yeah, eventually puts one into the net. So Pro TT takes the lead for the first time, 7-6. Extends that to a two-point lead now. Finding his pace. Long way to go, though, in this best of seven matches. Each match is a best of three games to 11 points. So potentially a long old stretch here, depending on how things go. Could be a lot of games to be played. If they're doing a good job on defense here, just keeping the ball on the table, but Pro TT's just got some killers there. Uh, hi to Enseret in the chat. Yes, this is the first game of the first match. So you've, you've only missed 19 points so far. Oh, and here we go, straight into a tie break first game. <clears throat> that one just makes its way past Pro TT, so advantage to Ofa. And there it is, first game goes to Eiffelton. <clears throat> yeah, Alan Dozer. <laughs> yeah, quick math on how many points have been played there. Luckily, I can do 10 plus 9. Just about, just about. So that's the start Eiffelton would have wanted. He can't do any more than that. I'm sure his supporters in the chat are going to be pleased with that, that start. Although, you know, it was still close. Went to a tie break in that first game. Crazy looks like certainly looks, looks strong, as always. <laughs> but it was worth it. was funny. Let's go. <clears throat> Here we go into the second game. More of the same by the looks of it. A lot of these really strong backhand shots from Pro TT, but ife has got answers, and that was a great rally. Probably the best rally of the match so far, but it's still young. We've got a lot more table tennis to see today. Oh. Just about finds the let serve there. Oh, come on. Uh, 
uh, Don Jim, yeah, I think the scoreboard that you're seeing on screen is slightly incorrect. So we are in the second game of the first match. Eiffelton is up one game to nothing. Uh, I think perhaps that scoreboard is showing some prior matches. I'm just trying to decipher it myself. It's showing the correct current score match and previous score, but that four nil doesn't doesn't mean anything. I don't I don't think that's accurate. But the twelve ten was the first game, and obviously we're five three to Eiffel here in the second game. Perhaps once the first match completes, that'll correct itself. But I'll keep you up to date on what's going on. It may be that it's showing games they played within the last 24 hours. I'm not 100% sure how the, the widget yeah, yeah. for that scoreboard works. So um, rest assured, though, we'll keep you, keep you informed as to what's going on. Ton stretching this lead here in the second game, trying to close out this first match. Being forced into some defensive shots, though. Pro TT is not making it easy for him. His quick fire switching rallies, you know, backhand to forehand to backhand. They're both great at just pushing the other player into awkward positions. Pro TT especially. Look at that. Switches from one corner to the other. Great finish. This is shaping up to be a very close match. <laughs> I had just managed to keep that first one on the table, but on the second try, could not keep it short enough. 8-9 now to Pro TT. Okay, we've got some match points here for Eifer in this first match. I can't take advantage of the first one. He's got one more try. Otherwise, we're going to see back-to-back -back tie breaks. And that's exactly what we've got. Pro TT fighting hard. There we go. He gives himself the advantage. Can he level up this first match at one game apiece? <clears throat> yes, he can. So there we go. We're going to go to a deciding game in this first match. First of potentially up to seven matches. First player to reach four matches will be our third place finisher. And claim, as well as the glory, but the additional ranking points for the end of season championship. This player's just taking a short break here. Pro TT may be toweling down. I know he tends to do that between games. <clears throat> Onseret saying they're going to play for an hour. I would not be surprised at all. Wouldn't be surprised at all. All right. Let us know in the chat. After those first two games, who do you think wins this third game and takes the first match? Is it Eiffelton or Pro TT? Oh, excellent forehand there from Pro TT. So accurate and so powerful. No guard Daenerok reckons Pro TT. Hashtag Pro TT for this first match. So, not everyone's on Team IFA. No guard reckoning the momentum is will carry him through. Looks close at the moment, but then this whole match so far has been feeling pretty close. Beck Mitch and Onseret both uh, backing Eifer to finish finish up this match. Uh, I see Era uh, also voting for Pro TT. So I think we've got a split a split jury here. Pro TT's got the lead at the moment, but it's slim. Two points at the moment. Eifer's closing that gap. <clears throat> oh, very well placed backhand there out to, to wide forehand for Pro CT. Eifer just making a move and does a similar thing again. So staying very close. That was a powerful backhand from Eifer. What a rally. So many of these balls are so close to the baseline. Oh, finally, Eifer misses one.
great rallies. Pro TT with a few match points here. Can I for defend? He's got through one of them. Two more that he needs to defend to get a Hello. third tie break. He's got that one, fortunately, for him. And he's got the third one. Oh, three match points go by the wayside for Pro TT. And now he's down a match point. Let's serve. Gets replayed. I'm for looking to close out this match, but Pro TT puts a blistering forehand down the line. 11 all. And those powerful, powerful backhands from Pro TT. Very difficult to deal with. And now he has match point himself. And there it is. Pro TT takes the first match. About as close as it gets. We had triple tie breaks there in that first match. But it is 12 10, 12 10, 13 11 in Pro TT's favor. So what a start to this match. What a start. Yes, no guard saying sweaty. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. These guys are going to be absolutely dripping by the time this is finished. So Anandoza, yes, it's a best of seven matches where each match is a best of three games. So we've just watched match one. We could see as many as seven matches. We're now entering match two. Uh, Don Jim saying I have sweaty palms watching it. I absolutely understand. It's exciting. These rallies are excellent as well. The, the speed and the precision is just incredible. It's very, very exciting to watch. Yeah, you can't help feeling so far that it is Pro TT who seems to have slightly more aggression in terms of trying to hit some winners with Eiffelton being more content to just play a quality return, I think it looks like Pro TT is going for more kills and just trying to end points. Great example there. Very powerful backhand. Yes, as suggested in chat, maybe Pro TT's finally found his perfect settings. He's got a bit of a reputation for tweaking the old settings. Pretty much every every few days we'll hear from Pro TT that he's found the perfect settings and then a few days later he finds the new perfect settings. So always interesting to see what he's in investigating. But he's running away with this first game of this second match. He's got an absolute bucket of game points here and he takes it down. Eifer sort of looks at his paddle almost in confusion. I'm not sure uh, whether he thinks maybe he was having some tracking problems or he's just disappointed with how he played that game. He's going to need to, to win a couple now to try and level up the overall match. <sighs> Onseret saying Ifa can't be too passive anymore. Yeah, I think so. I think, you know, that 11-2 is going to be a wake-up call for him, right? It's, uh, it's time for him to show that he can win these points and not just absorb the pressure that Pro TT puts on him. He's got to be able to give something back and find some winners. There's a nice shot there. Unfortunate not to get the second return. What? <clears throat> <laughs> Pro TT just exclaiming there. The ball seemed to just disappear through his racket. Oh, both players getting a, a bit of help from the net there. Uh, Ifa being the ultimate beneficiary and uh, just raising his paddle to apologise. Okay, and we've got an update that the on-screen scoreboard is now displaying correctly. So you can see there in green on the left is the current match score, 1-0 to Pro TT, And then the remaining columns show us the, the game. So we can see that 11-2 that was just completed and the 5-2 as it now is that we're currently watching. So uh, all back to, back to square one and sorted. Oh, wow. That really moved off of the table surface there. A lot of spin on that shot. Yeah, no guard, sick curves, exactly. Ifa manages to get another point with some, some defensive spin shots there. Pro-TT just punishing with that backhand down the middle. Just devastating. 
difficult to even return, let alone try to counter-attack that sort of shot. It's so attacking. Crazy T looks to be getting the better of things right here. He's up 9-5. Oh, just catches the net there. That's unfortunate. Yeah, Eifert's staying in the points, but... A lot of the time, it just looks like the way he's going to win points is by ProTT making mistakes. So if ProTT is consistent, nah. it's hard to see what Eiffelton is going to be able to do about that. But we all know that eiffelton has got many gears and he could very well step it up. He's pulled this back to 9-9 after this is from ProTT, a couple of long or wide balls. Oh, just slightly too high on that forehand. So a second match match point for ProTT. Can he convert it immediately? Oh, <laughs> very lucky netball there, getting the bounce for Eiffelton. So once again, we go to a tie break. That 11-2 was just a, you know, an anomaly. We're going to go back to tie breaks every game. Advantage to Pro TT, looking to close out this second match and take a 2-0 lead. But Eiffel's not going to go down without a fight. Some great forehand returns there. Now working the backhand. Oh, so, so close. Wow. What a way to end that second match. So, Eifer really starting to step things up, but he's he's going to have to start winning some of these, of course. It's, it's one thing to, you know, to not lose by much, but losing still losing. Uh, Wales asking in the chat about the current ping. It's a little bit tricky for me to actually see. Let me see if I can make this a bit bigger. Looks like about... Yeah, I can't actually see the ping between Eifer and ProTT, but their pings to our camera are like between 50 and 90 milliseconds. So I think they're both on reasonably decent connections for what it's worth. So heading into this third match now, does feel very much like a must win for Eiffelton if he wants to have some chance of turning this around. It's hard enough to beat Pro TT at the best of times, but if you go behind, it's really difficult to come back. Yeah, some nice shots there from Eiffelton, just forcing Pro TT out to the margins. A couple of misplaced shots from Pro TT as well, but as we've seen, he's perfectly capable of putting them exactly where he wants as well. Yeah, those backhands just like an arrow. Oh, <clears throat> both players just kind of shifting each other out of position there. That one just a bit out of reach for, for Eiffelton. Oh, my oh and Pro TT getting the edge ball there, just holding up his racket to apologize for that. Once again, not much in it between these two. Just Pro TT with a slight edge, it seems. But slight edge at this level is enough. Such thin margins that they're working with. Again, the net just preventing Eifer from getting that one across. And now it's 9 4 to Pro TT. Even. Oh my word! Even pushing Pro TT from. Full forehand to full backhand, he still can't quite find that winner. And there we go, the first game of this third match goes to Pro TT. So, if you're definitely going to need to find something, he's he's got to change something do something differently i don't know what he might have up his sleeve but what he's been doing so far is just not quite good enough it's just not quite good enough to get past what pro tt is putting down out there so yeah he needs to change up his strategy or try something wait wait, wait the table pro -TT just uh just resetting his table height i think there must have gone slightly out of out of calibration but here we go Second game of this third match. It's 
just going to be so difficult for Eiffelton psychologically if he loses this third match and then needs to win four matches on the bounce to take down third place. That's such a mountain to climb. You can't help thinking that given Pro TT's caliber, if Ifa doesn't doesn't manage to win this game, it's hard to see how he comes back. But stranger things have happened. It would be a heck of a story. Very nice directed forehand there, just pushing it way too wide for Pro TT to get there in time. Hello. Bravo. Okay, I like for picking up a couple of points there by pushing Pro TT or trying to push Pro TT out to his wide forehand. Um, both times, Pro TT just wasn't close enough. And once again, another big forehand. So maybe I for Ton's finding some answers maybe he's found a couple of spots where he can put some pressure on pro tt but it's still very much the control is with pro tt at the moment nine six up oh not quite making it to that wide ball and now just one point ahead so ife has got a chance here he can just close out a couple of points and there we go nine apiece Eiffel knows what he's got to do. He needs to win two points. But he's on the defensive again, and it is Pro TT that takes the initiative and now has match point and converts. So this is looking very, very bad for Eiffelton. He's down three matches in a best of seven. Pro TT just needs to win one of the next four matches, and he will be our third place finisher. Very, very difficult to see a route back for Eiffelton here. But if there is anyone who can do it, it's probably him. He is our world number one. He is in the, the 3200 rating club. Um, he does have an almost 90% win rate in ranked matches. Um, the head-to-head -head between these two, very close. There's only a couple of matches in it. They've played uh, 30 matches, and it's only about two matches in Eiffelton's favour. So... It's it's very, very close, and this scoreline doesn't really do justice to what we're looking at here. Both players have played excellently. It's just that Pro TT has edged so many of these games by just being ever so slightly more consistent and precise. Hello. There's really nothing left for Eiffelton now except to just go out and try and play a scorching game. He's got nothing to lose now. It's it's all on the line. He needs to just be full on trying to win every point now. The time for caution or the time for reservation has long passed. He needs to have something drastic happen to turn things around. But Pretty T cutting away the lead that he'd started to forge. So back to pretty much level pegging, just a one point lead for Eiffelton going into this point. And those backhands again from Pro TT, so difficult, switching to the forehand and then a drop shot. Oh, what a rally. Oh my goodness. That was incredible. <clears throat> Eleven Germany saying Eif is not in the mood to win today. Certainly, once you go three matches down, you know you can see the body language, you can see the demeanour. Even though we can't see his whole body, you get a sense of how he's moving, maybe how he's feeling. It obviously doesn't feel good to go three matches down right off the bat, but he hasn't stopped playing. He's nine seven up here. All he can do is try and win each game. Oh. And now he's got some game points. And he takes that one down. So Eiffelton getting, I think, only his second game on the board. Yeah, he won one in the first match. So let's see if he can start to mount the most unlikely of comebacks. Really would be incredible. I'd love to see this go to the wire. Oh. 
one person who definitely doesn't want to see that is uh, Pro TT as he prepares for this second game of the fourth match. Here we go. Pressure on Eiffelton to find something, some new level, some extra depth, some further gear that he can switch to. Beck saying Eifer is slowly rebuilding the wall, and Ebna Fred says, yes, the comeback starts now. That's certainly what Eiferton is going to hope. Uh, a Forks, so Eiferton is the number one ranked player in the world with an ELO of 3,207. And right now, Pro CT is our number three in the world with an ELO of 3,118. Uh, but they both have ranked match win rates in the high 80% range. So very, very top, top players, the, the real elite here. And there's not much to choose between them. But it is Pro TT who's managed to edge it so far. Where's this? Oh. Eiffelton gets a freebie there as Pro TT finds the net. Hello. Oof, some couple of great placement shots there. Oh, just can't find the, the finisher. This is so close. It's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna take a massive shift for IFA to start coming back and winning some games. It's been close the whole way. This game's a prime example, A to piece. But Pro TT continues to just help those fast, fast returns. The backhand and the forehand, just absolutely unbelievable. So consistent. And Ifa's trying to play a similar game, trying to, you know, put the placement balls out wide, try and find the corner of the table. Pro TT is just doing a great job at the moment. Yes, and there Eiferton does find a forehand winner, and he's got a match point here. Pro TT taking a moment before he serves. There's a let first. And Eiferton no, takes that one down. So is this the beginning of the comeback? He takes this match down two games to nil. Putting the series at 3-1 overall. Still a long way to go, though. Still a very long way to go. Pro TT only needs to win one more match out of these remaining three matches. But will this spur Eiferton into believing that he can do it? He's now won a match. He knows he can do it. Is he going to just ramp things up and go to the next level? The more time that passes, what a rally. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Unfortunate for OTT to catch the net there, but what a clinical finish from Ifa. What I was going to say is the more time that goes on, the longer that passes without ProTT finishing this match off, the more it's going to buoy the hopes of Eiferton, the more it's going to wear on ProTT's mind. He's got to be very, very focused and not let his mindset affect how he's playing because it's difficult when you're this close to, to finishing the match and then your opponent starts coming back. You've got to put those negative thoughts out of your head and just play the best quality table tennis that you can. It's Eiferton with the slim lead at the moment in this game. Again, quite a lot of defensive play, which we've come to expect from Eiferton. They don't call him the wall for nothing. But can he find a winner? No, Pro TT absolutely blasts that backhand. There's a spin. Apologies, I think I lost my connection to the stream there for a moment, but I believe I'm back now. A 
We're at 7 3 to open one. Another great rally here. So many of these shots. Just millimeters away from the baseline of the table. It's 9 3 to Eiffelton now, and it, it does feel like the momentum might be shifting. Are we about to witness potentially the greatest comeback in 11 history? Many game points here for Eiffelton, and he takes it down at the first chance. This really will get interesting if Eiffel takes a second match, takes it to 3 2. That will really, really start to put some pressure on Pro TT. <clears throat> Thanks to everyone in the Twitch chat for being active over there. I see all your comments. Uh, Onseret saying, being a talentless, non real life player, this looks way too exhausting for me. I know exactly how you feel. Um, yeah, it's it's a it's a lot of movement. There's a reason these guys are having to towel off after each game. Really Oforg saying like it's going to be time. tough on them. Beck shouting out for the wall, and uh, Beck Mitch saying respect to both players, such good quality. Yeah, absolutely. It's been a great match to watch so far, and there could be a lot more to come. I've has taken a. a Pretty quick three-point lead in this game, and ProTT visibly not happy with that. Taking a moment to just collect himself. Probably a smart move. Certainly seemed to work out, given how he played that point. Pushes that one long there. A rare misplacement from Pro TT. He unleashes a couple of those forehands, then a big backhand, and then the softer spin shot. Ifa can't quite lift it over the net. Feels like the pace of this game is is only increasing as both players try and ramp things up. What the fuck is this now? Chris is he not not happy with the last few points? He knows from those first three matches that he can win this. He knows it's in his hands. Is Ifa going to take it out of his hands? Can Pro TT keep his cool if he does drop this match? Nine six. Oh, just off the edge there. CT, that was very close. Eight nine now. Pro TT coming back. And now nine apiece. I for being asked questions. Oh, what a reach from Pro TT to return that. Unfortunately, catches the net there. We've got a, a match point here for Eiferton to take the series to 3-2. ProTT denies him that, and we have another tie-break. <clears throat> crucial, crucial tie-break here. Great rally. Oh, this is... Look at that placement on the backhand. Pro TT, almost trademark backhand finisher there. He now has game point to take this match to a third game. And he does so. Wow. Feels like almost through sheer force of will, Pro TT managed to, to close out that game. So it's a deciding game in this fifth match. Pro TT needs to win this game take down the entire series and take our third place. Ifa needs this game to extend into what would be a sixth match. Very difficult to call. You can't help thinking that after coming back in that second game there, ProTT is going to feel that he's got the momentum and that maybe he can close this out, but Eifer is not going to go down without a fight. Let's see.
Thanks for asking. Why is it called backspin and not bottom spin? It's a good question because it's top spin, right? So you'd think the opposite would be bottom spin, but we have backspin instead. Oh, unfortunately there, I'm not able to get that smash to connect. All tied up at three apiece. Be absolutely no surprise if this third game went to a tiebreak as well. Oh, nice. Crucial game, this. Well, apologies, I think perhaps my commentary dropped out there again for a minute. I believe I'm back now, though. Let me know in the chat if you can hear me. But either way, I'll carry on, just in case. Seven apiece now. Oh, just sailing over the baseline there, that shot from Eiffelton. Hello. Oh, very nice little push. So close. Individual points now becoming extremely important. Oh, a lovely backhand there from Ipatani. Gives himself a match point. Oh, and he can't quite capitalize on it. Another tie break here in what could be the final game if Pro TT can convert here. But if not, Eiffelton will be taking us into a match six. Oh, no, and he serves into the net. You hate to see it. Oh, no, and Pro TT catches the net there, and Eiffel can't kill it. It would be better if you play seven, but nice, seven? very nice. Yes, yeah, it would be nice. It was very it's nice. Okay. Yeah, it was a good game. It was a good game. Very good game. This was the best game <laughs> we've played. So, so many things in front, back, spin to spin. You came in front at, at some point to pressure me, then you played defense. It was nice. Oh, good, good game. Oh, boy. Really good. A lot of fun. Yeah. Right. So, I like. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> so, like, have to cut it out. It's a lot of work to do. <laughs> maybe. 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 So, like, was like, no, no, no. Everybody else, oh my God, yes, yeah, spin to spin there. Yeah. Eiffel brings everything back. So, like, oh my God, another highlight. Fuck you guys. My gone. <laughs> my, my. No problem. I have it. Nice, nice, that's nice. Fucking with us, yeah. My so, yeah, gosh. Players just congratulating each other there on, on what was a really great game. I think Again, lots of us, whether months, people are Eiffelton supporters or just neutrals, yeah, wanted to see it go a bit longer, power, but yeah, a well deserved victory I mean, for Pro games, CT. In those early I'm matches, he was just absolutely nobody. unstoppable. Yes, Such okay, powerful, well placed but, shots to say, right to the corners of the table. There's very, very little that Eiffelton can do about that. But thank you all for watching. Um, I can see a few of you thanking me for commentary in the chat. You're very, very welcome. It's lovely to be here. Don't forget, though, that tomorrow, 
4 p.m. UTC or GMT, whichever way you want to look at it, we will be bringing you the grand final between Yedat and Lap Octopus, which promises to be an absolutely astonishing match. Could be even better than the match we've just witnessed. So do join us for that at 4 p.m. UTC tomorrow on Friday. I will be back and maybe I'll even have a co-host with me. So tune in to find out. But thank you all for joining us and we will see you again next time. He was.